Good morning, everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. The sun is up. <laughs> I know. It's a miracle. I got a huge love letter from Shasta. Thank you so much. I got a fun book from Paula. That was very fun. And of course, Linda continues to send me goodies. So I have the round robin ready to go. Um, a couple of names and addresses still need to come in, but I have shut off the round robin. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'll read the names on the next video as to who's in the round robin, so it'll be fun. My box, ready to go. And while we're talking about that, I am up to my eyeballs in underpants. So, I love that you guys like to send me love letters. I love that but I have more than enough. So hopefully you can uh, play with this round robin and share with other people in the village and leave me out of the loop. <laughs> I'm swimming in it. <laughs> so thank you everyone. I've enjoyed everything and I need to uh, stop. Stop that input of, of new supplies. I have to use what I have. So uh, we have had some uh, contributors, and I have little thank you notes uh, ready to go out to them. Susan, thank you so much. You are Nancy's friend, huh? She has spoken highly of you, so I'm glad you're enjoying our village. It's very fun. Sharon, thank you. Uh, Debbie, um, your last name begins with a B. I don't have an address for you. You're in South Africa, and I don't have an address for you, so if you could get that address to me. Um, I'm pretty sure you're in South Africa, or maybe I don't even have that much information. So it's Debbie Ball, and then there's another name after that. Um, I need to, your address so I can send you out a little love letter. And Marcel, thank you. Uh, I did receive my die cuts, my little uh, folder die cuts that were sent to me, and I can't remember who the kind heart is. They don't live in the States, so they sent me these. Um, through the manufacturer. So I got those yesterday, so thank you very much. I also want to mention that I did uh, travel to San Francisco yesterday to meet up with one of our uh, villagers, Deb, who lives in Toronto, and uh, had a wonderful visit with her, and she gave us a generous contribution to the village. So my thanks to her for the inspiring visit and the contribution. So, lots of chatter this morning. My apologies. Fun project coming up. See you on the table. All right, this is the fun uh, altered book page that we're playing with today. I will find her a man to go on this side. But uh, this is what I've done. And this is a tin can uh, sent through the cuddle bug. So, yep, there she is. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm kind of facing a block right now. So, a little artistic block right now. So, I have a couple of pages in my book that already have some fun underpants on them. They have books and then they have some fun colorful images on them as well. So, I'm going to play with those today. I've got my, believe it or not, this is white gesso and my sanding block. And I haven't played with the gelatos in a long time. So I've pulled the gelatos out and I think I'm going to play with those along with the um, Stabilo. And I'm just going to build the background now and I'm going to contemplate what I'm going to be doing for the focal points. So for right now, we're just going to play with the background. So I did add a few things as I went along. Uh, I can mention those now. Uh, grommets and the crepidile. Some alcohol inks. I don't know if I had mentioned E6000, but that's what I put her crown down with. And uh, some metallic pens that Linda sent me. And my black stays on ink pad. Okay, that's what I touched her crown with as well. So hopefully I've got everything. Sometimes I add as I go. I apologize for that, but I just go as the mood strikes me. 
So, all right. Okay, I've elevated the book a little bit so that the pages lay down better for me. And I'm just going to come in with some gesso. I left my um, baby blue brush out. <laughs> so it's a little stiff. Anybody else ever do that? Come back in the studio and go, oh my gosh, you've been sitting out since I saw you last? Oh dear. So at least it wasn't overnight. So dry. Then we're going to come back in with that sanding block. Pick up some of the fun edges on the underpants. Put baby blue in the water. What a great idea. Oh, this will be fun. All right, pretty dry. Grab my sanding block, go in here and lift up some of that texture from those underpants, some of those edges. Just go through your piece, have fun. Okay, so I've grabbed some gelatos. We're starting to run out of light here, run out of sun. But we're going to play for as long as we can. So yellow, pink, purple, and the turquoise. These are my go-to colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find the edges of these underpants, and I'm going to give it a little bit of gelato. Page come to life. So I tore those underpants, and you know I'm okay with that. In fact, I embrace it. Let's be bold and go purple, wanna? If you haven't played with gelatos, they're pretty fun. They're like chapstick. They're kind of like chapstick, only you're putting only with colors. <laughs> and they smear really easily. It's very hard to doodle on top of them because they are kind of greasy.
I used to use these colors a lot, a lot, a lot. And I'm relying on the yellow to kind of pull everything together. All right, what's our next adventure on this black ground, background? Oh, the black ground, because I'm thinking about the black gesso. All right, let me grab the black gesso. All right, I have the lid to my black gesso, and I also have some kind of a paper towel tube or something like that. And I'm just gonna dip my paper towel tube into the black gesso and make some designs on our background. And it was just gesso that was left in the lid. We completely changed that by adding those circles, didn't we? Took on a whole new dimension there. Now I'm just having fun. Now I'm just misbehaving. All right, I'm gonna dry that. All right, when that's dry, bring your sandpaper back in and scuff it up. So we're bringing in the dangerous inks, the spray inks. All right, I'm just gonna There we go, get some movement in there. Can you see it? Gorgeous.
All right, I've got these drips. I've got beautiful color here. I'm going to dry it in place. All right, let's drag out some bubble wrap. Grab my brush that's been sitting in water for a while. Yay. Excuse my arm. I put a little bit of white acrylic here on my workspace. I can't really see it. It's over. It's over here. It's over here. So I'm just going to take some white acrylic paint, brush it on that bubble wrap, like that. And then can you see that? It's not fair, is it? Okay. So I just paint some acrylic on the bubble wrap. And then just randomly lay it on the page. Oh my goodness, who wants to cover this up with a focal point? Picking up some of them. Okay, that one's done. See how it starts to smudge and smear and get all blue? That won't work in my world. All right, we're going in for another piece of bubble wrap. We want some clarity, please. Thank you. Beautiful. All right, we are going to let that dry. And I will probably see you tomorrow when the sun is not up. <laughs> oh, we got some gorgeous spray on the buttons. Beautiful. Nice background, huh? Love it. Good morning, all. Still gorgeous this morning at dark o'clock. So I'm going to play a little bit. I have her. I don't have a man from this time period yet. I haven't found one yet. But I have her. I had it in an old photo. And I ran the uh, music paper through my printer so that her image is printed on the, um, on the music paper. And I'm going to cut her out. And then we are going to play with the uh, cuddle bug a little bit. I got uh, three thumbs down on the um, Cuddlebug Tin Heart, so I must be doing something right. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do it again. So I'm just gonna take my Exacto and I'm just gonna cut her out. All right, so I have her cut out, and I'm bringing this tin can in. And the tin nowadays is really, really thin, so you can cut it very easily with scissors. So it'll be kind of noisy for me to cut this on screen. So I am just going to um, shut the camera off and I'm going to cut this into a flat piece. So this is what is remaining of the can. 
I'm going to take an embossing folder. Put that in the embossing folder. I know the light is really, really bad, but we're going to run this through the hot plug forward. And back. So I used ABB plates because ABC was too thick. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right. This is going to be her crown. I know the metal is uber shiny. She's going to have like a Glinda crown, I think. Let's start it here. And these are just regular kitchen scissors, so nothing fancy. Let's see how that is on her. Beautiful. Get rid of that funny edge. And some hubby's just getting out of the shower. Very good. All right, I'm going to grab my crocodile. All right, I'm going to bring in the crocodile on the smallest hole, and I'm going to pop some holes in the top of that crown. And I'm going to put a grommet in each hole. Still using the crocodile. Oh, that was funny. Can you see that? Very fun. All right, I'm going to do that to all the holes. So here's the crown, I'm trying to keep the glare off with the holes at the top. I think she needs some embellishment at the bottom too. So I'm going to go in there and pop some holes. So I hope you can see that. I put um, blue ones at the bottom. I'm going to grab some alcohol ink. Not really good with it, but let's play with it a little bit. All right, here we go. Just putting some alcohol ink on there. And I'm just going to smudge it around a little bit. Give the crown a little bit of color. Watch your edges. Kind of sharp.
tin. Can you see how fragile the tin is? It's very thin nowadays. Not like the tin cans of yesteryear. All right, I'm going to let that dry. Her crown is gorgeous. I think at this angle you can kind of see it without too much glare. So I'm going to glue her down with some Mod Podge. I have lots of stuff going on on the background, so I'm going to put the Mod Podge on the back of her and glue her down. In my rubber ducky robe, you know that. see where that crown is going to go because I want the crown to the top of the page so she's going to have to come down about there about there this is very fragile paper the old music sheet paper very fragile so I want to be careful not to rip her face off This has been fun, huh? All right. Back side of that crown is pretty as well. Bring back in my single serving of E6000. Don't you worry, little Miss Queen. We'll fix your crown. back in their place. Oh my goodness, isn't she fun? girl. Alright, I'm going to wiggle this crown around, put some E6000 where things have not stuck very well. I'm having to really work it down. The paper towel helps me push it down evenly and not smudge too much of background inks and things like that. Just keep working it down. I'm going to put her under my bum for a minute. Alright, the sun is up. 
Uh, she's mostly stuck right over here. It's not, so I'll deal with that uh, after I play a little bit. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to stabilo the edge of the page, of course. Now what I'm going to do is try and find a fine gentleman for the other side, her king or her dunce. I don't know yet. Won't know till I find him. So he will be my focal point on this side. What I believe to be true here is that I need to really watch my fingers around this tin. Oh, not as bad as I thought. And the edge here, as you know, I'm kind of procrastinating around the crown because I don't want to. I'm a little nervous around that tin. All right, let's do it. I was going to grab my finger and tear it apart, but it does not. So, successful experiment. So I'm going to go around the crown and I'm going to go around her and then we'll see what else it needs. Very fun. All right, now I'm going to bring in my black Stazon ink and see if I can just catch some of these upper edges with some ink to kind of embellish that a little bit. Well, that's good. So no fingers were harmed during the stabiloing, just so you know. Oh yeah, we're talking pretty pretty. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And Linda sent me these uh, metallic pens, metallic markers. So this one I think is going to be silver. So I'm just going to go around and make some dots on her. With that silver. I love my dots. I think white dots were going to be too much. These are subtle. I don't know if you can see them or not. Very fun and subtle. Thank you, Linda. All right, we're just gonna go around the piece. So I put the dots around, some little lines. She's very fun. All right, go create, go play, go have fun. See you next time.